So welcome back to the another video of Ashu Play, guys. And the season change of Once Human is out now. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about what season changes. Like what's happening in the season changes. Now after the season changes out, you can see they are. Two options for you in the starting, which was evolution call and many bus. Now, the other two modes, the way of winter and prism vs crash, is also gonna be out pretty soon. So if you have registered for the new season pretty early, uh, you are into one of these server. But like me, like I'm waiting for the servers. Uh, I will wait for this to open and check out what's the difference between this and this. Let's talk about the Manibus server. In the Manibus server, you can see there are two kinds of servers. One is the normal difficulty and one is the hard difficulty. In the normal difficulty, it will stay the same as we were playing before. And there will be no changes in the mode of the game. The difficulty will stay the same and it will be easier to kill. Not talking about the anomaly in the game. There will be the two anomaly in the game. First will be the super anomaly, which will be the face section. In this, the face variants will have the high damage reduction, and the counter measures, which will be added, are the cradle override anti face. Now, in your cradle override, there will be a skill with the anti face. Also, the shrapnel damage and the damage while in Fortress Warfare state. Another anomaly, which is super anomaly, the coherence. In the coherence, the deviants will be having a coherence device, so you will have to attach it to them. I'm not sure about it. But while the device is intact with the deviants, they will be invisible. So now we don't know if it will be time limited or it will be a consumable for them or something like that. But this is a really good option. Now the counter measures which I've added to this are in the cradle override you will see anti coherence. So I think it will unlock some skill like invisibility for the deviants like that. Also the bounce damage has been added. The damage while in fast gunner state is added. The target takes damage when affected by the bullseye as well. Now talking about the override. In the override there will be the counter measures to this super anomaly which will be the SMD and the sniper rifles. Also, the face pistols and crossbow will counter super anomaly, the coherence will. The fast gunner, burn, shrapnel and fortress warfare has been enhanced. It's a very good news for the people who are using the build for the fast gunner, burn, shrapnel and fortress warfare. Now talking about the wish machine. There will be the two new blueprints which will be added to the wish machine. The first one is MG4 Predator. As we all know, we have used it in the beta, if you were in there, in the CBT. There is a 40% chance to take a fast gunner on the hit. So, it's a really good one. Also, the Osis Mask, which gives you the fast gunner stacks maximum up to 10. And the attack plus 1 per stack. So, if you are having the 10 stacks, you are having 10% attack as well. Now, talking about the calibration blueprints. The first one, the boost type which is for the pistols and the shotguns and it will increase the trigger chance when you reload your gun. It can be obtained by disassembling your dock gear or defeating the super anomalies. So the gears which you drop in the wilderness, you can disassemble them and you will receive this calibration. As we all know, we normally get the weapons and the gears and we disassemble them for the calibration blueprints. Or you have to defeat the super anomalies to get this. The second one, overflow style. In this one, this is for the pistols and the LMGs, and it will be reloaded to the maximum than the capacity you are having. Like you are having 50 bullets magazine, it will be increased after the reload. It depends on the shots which you have fired before the reloading. I think the same amount of the bullets will be added into it. And to get this as well, the thing is the same, you have to disassemble the dog gear or defeating the super anomaly. Now, the energy style. This one is for the SMD and the rifles. And it gives you the ammo recovery once you are hit by the mobs. So, like you are firing and you are getting hit, 
here ammo will be recovered automatically to this calibration blueprint and it can be obtained by disassembling the drop gear or defeating the super anomalies same as usual okay so now moving on to the main thing the difficulty in the hard mode so the survival challenges has been increased in the hard mode the pollution zone in the hard difficulty has been increased and the contamination levels has been increased as well so suppose if you are in the stardust pollution area where is the 40 percent contaminated area now it will be 60 to 70 percent contaminated area also the energy and the hydration will depletes or go down much faster and twice than before suppose if your food and water was staying with you keeping you hydrated and with the energy and fullness for around 15 minutes now it will be depleted to 7 minutes so it will only stay for 7 minutes with you also the compact environment now the compact environment for the deviants is more better in the hard difficulty the deviants tax awareness movement speed and the attack frequency has been increased so that means the time as well for which the deviants stay with you has been increased their awareness that which enemy they have to attack has been increased also they will be moving fast and they will be attacking faster than before also in the territory purification there will be the different type of deviants which will be more harder attacking your territory and the difficulty will be increased totally so suppose if the cortex level one which we were using it and it was very easy to do so now the cortex level one will be hard as well but as it is a hard difficulty mode so that means the rewards have been increased as well so the starcom rewards which you will get after completing the season goals or after purifying your territory will be increased by 20 percent so that is a really good thing so what we can say about it like you are receiving 100 star crown from something you will get 120 star crowns that's a profitable and it's a good thing now about the deviations the things will stay same as i have told you about the normal difficulty the phase the coherence and everything for the deviations will stay the same there will be no changes in them now to know which season is open and which is not which you can join right away and which you cannot so the thing is when you go to the server you will see this server is logged and the time to open it is at 25 of the august at 7 30 game time so there are plenty of spots available because the server is not open yet in the other servers if we go these servers are open right now and the starting time of the server was 18 august at 8 p.m. server time and there are still plenty of spots available now if we go into the this one there are the limited spots available but the server is still open and this one is totally full now pve 010003 this one is totally full and you cannot join it so now the thing to this is that either you can put the special invitation code from one of your friend or if your friend has already invited you you can join them as you can see here are my friends who have invited me to join the server with them so if i click on yes i will be moved to them not to them but into their server and i will be able to play in their server now which i'm not going to do right now because i'm just trying to wait for the other season as well which is the way of the winter as in the way of the winter we can see is a spectacle collaboration and a disaster anima okay and there is a temperature challenge so that means if there is a temperature challenge so if there will be a snowfall or a lot of summer or heat we have to eat things or work accordingly so our character feels good about it like our character doesn't sweat much our character doesn't feel frostbite like that so i am really waiting on this server to know what's going on in this so it really gonna be fun I don't know if it will be unlocked into this season or not, but I will wait for a few days until I move on to the next one. So I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, there is a another server as well which will be Prismaverse Crash. In this one, there will be the faction modes and the territory contest and the fast growth. So with the fast growth, we know that our level ups and everything will be faster than before. 
and there will be the faction modes now in the faction modes it will be like group a and group b and they are surviving so let's see how it gonna be maybe they can be according to the picture one can be the group of the rosetta and one can be the group of the mayflies it's up to you which one you will join i'm not sure about this because there is no information to this if i will get any information i will make a video about this as well now moving on to the next segment of the video now there is one more thing before going to the next season there is a file which you can check i think it will be after signing up for the new season but the current season data is not settled for me that means i haven't signed up that's why it's not showing up for me but it will be showing for you in this file and when you scroll it you will see everything like how the way you played the game how many strongholds you did how many shots you have fired how many mobs you have killed and everything so that's a really good thing now the most important thing as we all know once we have changed the server all of our items will be going into the space time backpack and from there we can transfer right now i cannot transfer because i have not signed up for the another season but once i will be signing up for it i will be able to transfer my items out. but still if you feel like it's a bit risky that if you all the items will be transferred or not so what you can do is just keep the important items in your backpack like the ammo the calibrations you are needing and the other important stuff like most of the time i am needing asset for me so keep them in the backpack to make sure and once you have entered the new server they will show you that what items you have inherited from the last season and what have been destroyed now before moving to the next season do not move directly into it because as you can go into the season goals and to the mitsuko mark shop in the season shop you can see there is a star cone crate which you can see in here now most of the people will be like the other crates are locked for me and only the one is showing so what will happen in here is see i have got four of it now if the other ones are locked for me it will unlock when i buy this one now suppose if i buy this one the other one is unlocked for me so if i keep on buying it will be exceeding to the 100000 now once i have done buying it so we will receive around so we will be receiving around 4000 star codes from this so do not miss this out that the season changes out so you instantly went into it before opening these this is so important for you it will be helpful in the next season for you so make sure you are having them because your star terms with super mark will be in the next season as well but your energy rings only so make sure you use up your energy rings as well before they convert into the astral sense also the controllers can be transferred from your current season to the next season which is a really good thing because controllers are always the thing in which a lot of people having the struggle in to get them so the controllers are transferable that's a really good thing which can get us more better rewards all the time and give us a really great thing to earn more rewards now as you all know that our gears will be transferred as well but as you can see they are tier 5 so we cannot use them until a specific amount of level and time given into the game and also the transferring of this items will be expensive like 2500 for each weapon something around that or suppose if it's 1000 as well it's pointless doing so so my one of the suggestion is craft tier 1 weapons which you need and then take them with you in the next server you can always transfer them from your eternal land backpack into your season backpack the next thing is before moving to the other season make sure you take out all of your deviants because they may be not automatically put into the eternal land but if they are in your bag that's 100 percent surety they will stay with you in the next server as well now about the house blueprints what we can do in here is we can go into our building menu to the house blueprint and as you can see i have already drafted one of the blueprint which was from my cbt now you can total draft up to 10 what you have to do is add blueprint and you have to do save all if you will do the single building it will only save a wall or an item which you have placed you don't have to do that you have to save all when you do the save all as you can see my blueprint is in here and 
it's all loaded in here right now okay this is my whole blueprint i can name it in here let's name it test blueprint and note this was for the viewers there we go and i confirm it and it's added now what happened in this case scenario is once we have created this so if you don't have the same items which you have used right now the materials i have used were these materials which i have used if i don't have these materials right now what i can do is what the game will do for you is it will place the lower materials the lower items the lower walls and everything depending on the materials you are having and your building will be placed accordingly so that's how this works also you can see it's a global territory data which means it will be available in all the seasons it won't be removed until unless you remove it now before moving to the another server maximize your star cones okay just get as much star cones as possible you can like if i go into here i have some missions left in here and this gonna be very hard in collecting trust me on this here you can see i am left with this one which i have to collect once i complete this i will get 2200 star cones and do not forget to do that territory purification for yourself before going i think it would have reset it for now let's take a look okay it's already set it up it's available for the territory purification so do not forget to get your star cones from here as well and any pending dues you have in the server which you have to collect do not forget to collect them like in the battle pass and everything because once it's done you won't be able to get them in the next season i mean you will be able to get but right now the rewards which you are having in here the pending ones you won't be able to get them in the next season your progress will be decent also one of my suggestion is that you should craft the drills and the chainsaw so that you won't run out of the resources in the next season as it will be in the hard difficulty if you are playing on you will be really needing it a lot but i'm not talking about the solar drills because the mematic specialization won't be accountable in the next season as you all know it's random and it can change for those who don't know uh, what items will be transferred to the another season and what won't be i have made a video on it the link will be in the description and you guys can check it out so this is the season change in the one season and the things you should not miss there were few people with whom we have played the game and they are not in our friend list and there are some friends which will be in the friend list some will be there with us some won't be but the game is still fun and really enjoyable i hope you guys will be enjoying the game in the next season as well and stay healthy stay safe if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one till then i should play signing out